Hello guys, what's up? This is Chani SK, SAP FI Siva, SAP MM and as for HANA Finance Trainer, today I'm going to discuss about SAP Controlling Module Product Costing. This is completely short video for you guys and part A. Uh, in this part A, I'm going to tell you what are the important steps to understand product costing in SAP FI Siva as for HANA. This is the free video classes for SAP Siva aspirants. If you are completely new to this channel and uh, watching my videos first time, Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. So far what we have discussed, what is product costing and objectives of the product costing and preparing for costing and then I explained about product costing integration, then material cost estimate with quantity structure and what is product cost planning and costing variant and is what is BOM and role of SAP BOM in SAP PP module and usage of BOM in MRP and what is the difference between moving average price and standard price and routing concept and also today I am going to tell you some important areas this is a, a part A in the part A I am going to tell you what is a cost center planning and activity rate calculation so in the part B, I am going to cover quantity structure, costing run, actual costing. So these are all things I will cover in the next video. By next video, I will cover all these five steps. Now let's understand the what is costing, what is cost center planning and uh, activity rate calculations. So while studying about the cost center accounting, so we should uh, come across this uh, cost center planning. So in the topic, so we are going to uh, plan, uh, we are going to plan the total cost and quantities also. So here, the cost center planning is, the main step is to understand the product costing in detail. So without uh, cost center planning, there should not be product costing, right? So in order to estimate the each product cost, each uh, uh, material cost, labor cost and other expenses cost, so this cost center planning is very important. So cost center planning is the main step to understand the product costing in very detail and the main objective of this phase is total is total planned cost and quantities in each cost center. So actually there is a, one T code is there for the cost center planning KP06. I will show you up right now. Okay, so this is the T code. So where we can give the version period. So uh, when you are planning for a uh, year, so you can take period 1 and 12, fiscal year and you are planning for administration cost, so then give it administration cost details of the cost center, this is cost center, administration cost center and this is activity type, so machine house and cost elements, so you are planning for cost elements, uh, so for, the, for this point of view, generally what is the T code generally use, KP06, KP06, so here the cost center planning is to understand the product costing. So this planning is uh, very very important to understand, to know more on uh, product costing and the objective of this phase completely to estimate the total cost and quantities in the cost center. And this cost center planning involves entering plan figures cost, activity prices, statistical key figures for a particular cost center. This is very important for, the, for, a, for, for a particular cost center and for the particular planning period so we are planning so we are planning a particular period wise and to the particular cost centers okay so based on cost elements you can determine the variance from these figures so figures means what is the variance actual cost minus planned cost then variance will come up so you can determine the variance from these figures when you compare the planned values with the cost actually incurred okay so cost center planning form, uh, form part of overall business planning process. It is a prerequisite for standard costing. Okay. And uh, what is activity rate calculation? See generally the main, main, the main aim of this phase is to estimate rates of each activity plan. So what is the missionary hours rate? So that we can also plan. So cost center plans are entered. So plan cost in KP06 and activity units in KP26. So planned cost should be in KP06 and activity plan units should be in uh, KP26. KP06 used to plan primary cost elements. 
you can do it activity dependent or independent also and kp26 kp26 is for uh, plan activity units in kp26 so use it to enterprises to activity types which will be then cost to cost allocation via secondary cost element so this kp26 use it to enterprises to activate types because this is completely indirect cost machinery labor over it these are indirect cost secondary cost also indirect cost kp26 use it to enter tries to activate types which will then cost to cost allocation via secondary cost elements while posting figures on those activity types okay so here so i have given one screen also here what is the activity type machine hours what is the cost center you are planning for administrative cost and what is the cost element you are taken so here you can take number of cost elements not only this okay so we need to plan the cost um, costing plan and activity uh, prices rates also we can do it uh, um uh, do it through kb06 and kb26 and uh, these two are very important to calculate the standard costing and uh, to understand the product costing in very detail manner so thank you very much for your support if you are completely new to this channel and uh, watching my videos first time please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon thank you so much guys see you soon